Welcome to the WBC Arena. They've been talking the talk. It's now time to walk the walk. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me, former world champion Johnny Nelson. It's action. It's action night. Introducing Josh the Tartan Tornado Taylor, one of the most aggressive in-your-face fighters in the world today. Watch out for this hard-hitting southpaw who fights out of Scotland. Saul. So now let's go into... This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, a boxing sensation from Scotland. A... And this one has all of those big fight feels you want from a prize fight. Here we go. Todd, you know when you've got two fighters there that really believe they're going to win, really want to get it on? This is when it gets stupid. Here's the bell to start round one. He misses with that jab. No rest for the weary. It is a sunny and hot day, and no, we're not inside. No air conditioning or air con, as they say in the U.S. This is taking boxing back to its roots. Outside, where you've got the crowd there, you can hear everything. You've got the breeze of the wind, you've got the heat of the sun. You know when you're doing this? Your feet are on fire. They're on fire in the world. It is a sunny and hot day, and no, we're not inside. No air conditioning or air con, as they say in the UK. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Neither man really defending themselves. Counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. They have got great ring IQ. Counter punches are the best. Both men step back for just a moment. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Left counter punch will score. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as a fighter. And the tournament's got a firecracker on that fighter. Get out there and get the job done. And there's the bell for round two. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Why sit in the pocket when your punches are this slow? Both of these fighters swinging and missing. fighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Reaction is second to them. It's the blink of an eye and they're waiting for any little touch you do. So you've got to fight a counter punch is smart. Both men in this round. He fails to score with that left hook. Very close match. 
It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Nice offensive display landing that left hand. Off the charts action from both of these fighters. showing exceptional chins, by the way. They exchange punches. Can't score with a very close round with 10 seconds to go. a 10-8 round, complete dominance. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep the same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Here we go in round three. Who's gonna land the first big shot? Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Talk about a fighter having power. Don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That could be the real difference. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. And he misses with that jab. What is this fighter doing? There's nothing behind these punches. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Good left counter that lands. here from both men. That counter shot lands. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Quick punch scores. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Left counter was perfectly timed. And the round that seemed like an eternity for them finally comes to a close. Leaves a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're gonna get it. Kitchen sink. And there's the bell to start round four. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until the sense of the combat. Best attribute. Oh my word, Canelo just got clipped. I thought we were going to see the finish there. So much for boxing. This is a fight. Perfect counter shot. Counter punching. Big shots from both of these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Good counter punching from both these fighters. Neither man really 
defending themselves. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They squat to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in the practice to relax. And it's code red time. Caution is being thrown to the wind. Ten seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. That'll be a 10-8 round for sure with the knockdown. Love the response, though. Got back up. Took a deep breath, but right. Push it up. Get on with the job. going round five. Who's going to land the first big shot? He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now, they're saying when you get out there, jump with him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him. Throw him. Push him down. Punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go because you know the one shake your leg. They're like a Nazi away from getting stopped. He misses with that jab. Shot with the left. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight fire with fight. You either give it them back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I gotta respect both of them, more than happy. Beautiful counter punch. Nice exchange here from both men. Men step back for just a moment. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. got the momentum, they got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. Let's start the six. Coming off that fantastic last round to see if he can keep his momentum going. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will when they hit be a lot harder. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you gotta think him. You just gotta be smarter than him. You gotta be like a little fager than pickpocket him. He just missed with that left jab. This fight has a real good flow to it. The old 
adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get cut to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen, so you rush your work and think, I've got to get him inside close round. And that's exchanges from both men in this round. He blocks the right hook. Nice counter punch. Punch misses completely. He just misses with that jab. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. From this moment forward, he cannot afford to lose another round. Wow, it's like two different leagues. Here we go, it's round seven. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's gonna come out and put the pressure on. He's gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. You gotta be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off, be smart, because he's gonna try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs have gone, he knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. Both men step back for just a moment. So that left lands. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system. Throw a certain amount of punches per round because otherwise if they deviate from the game plan they're going to be shattered once again Canelo in serious jeopardy here going to the canvas trying to cover up play some defense but he's buzzed I don't know if he's going to survive didn't wait too long to get back and get engaged you know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. He threw the hook. Didn't land. These punches coming from every angle. seen 
all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. Man with the right counter. him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got to have some. He's got to, he's got to bluff him. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skimming. Go for speed. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Nice exchange here from both men. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got... Oh, my goodness. I admire these guys. Great counter right hand there. She missed with that jab. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. And a counter left. Good one. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Who has the advantage after that last round? Let's see what they have. And here comes the 10th round. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of punches. And they're not throwing as many on their own. You've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Missing with the left hook. Nice counter shots. Punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He just misses with that big right hand. How do? 
do they use the spider's aggression against them? I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strengths they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Good counter punching for both these athletes. The game plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? The bell sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. Start 11. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold and tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. He blocks the hook. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Still swinging with nothing left. Back and forth they go, neither fighter willing to back down. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around us. Work the body, use tactics. Sometimes it's so right to actually outbox a fight and beat them on points. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. I know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this matter? And there's the bell to start round 12. Now there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Neither man really defending themselves. shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. I've never seen a fighter so fast in my life. How do you deal with this? You've got to hope, you've got to hope they run out of steam. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches, they're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. the perfect dance partners. That right hook won't score. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It could all come down to who's in better shape. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. Can't connect with that right hook. Just missed with that hook. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Nice job.
job landing that left counter punch. What a dominant performance, and it shows up on the judges' scorecards as a unanimous decision victory. This is the last thing we expected. What a fight, what a style, what a pace to get a unanimous decision. That is mad. This, I didn't see that coming. I thought this would be tight. This is nowhere near tight.